Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Mishoku Tensei. We'll be starting season two and I'll get something out of the way first. So I was in the process of watching episode 24. Honestly, I do kind of wish I finished it because my initial reaction to it was utter confusion because no one decided to explain to me that episode 24 isn't the continuation of the story. It's an episode that takes place in between episode 16 and 17 titled episode 24. So you can imagine my utter confusion at seeing Ryujured and Eris with long hair still. So yeah, so much for that, because I was planning for that to be an episode where I was talking about like, oh, season one, it was so good, blah, 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 but never mind. Now, I could have just watched it, but I'm like, I don't really care for filler. If it comes back later in some form of importance, well, fuck me then. Honestly, by the time this gets on YouTube, I'll probably be done with this second season, so it doesn't even really matter. But either way, last time on Mashoku Tensei, we finished season one. Rudius has taken his step outside, and he is going to look for Zenith. Meanwhile, Roxy, with the help of Shika discovered that Zenith is in the labyrinth city of Rapan, so we at least have our heading. Here we go. But I'm getting to start season two, man. But this one is episode zero. Titling this is gonna be fun. But yes, let's get right into the episode. Who? All right, season two. Let's get it. Sylphie? Did it teleport her into the fucking sky? Luke. Such a normal name. <laughs> That's so fucked. Well, I mean, Lilia and Aisha spawned in water, so... Water... fucking water bucket trick. Minecraft. Okay, so this is unrelated. Did she just shed her... Green. <laughs> oh. Another happy landing. Well, now you're indebted to, to her. Green hair went away. Well, we're just getting dropped right into the story, aren't we? I'm here every week. Asura, huh? わかんない。いきなり空の上にいて。フィットアリオは消滅したようです。あなたの故郷はもうありません。あなたの家族も友人も王宮への侵入についての罰が下るとは思います。私のそばにいれば、あなたの家族を探し出すと約束しましょう。
that it? <laughs> Encore? Bravo! <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Who's the fucking egghead Humpty Dumpty looking at? <laughs> How much time has passed? I mean, obviously she's grown more, so has it been the three years since? <laughs> I would not be surprised if she's developed a fear of heights. That's why she wobbles when she stands. That's actually a really good detail. Ugh. <laughs> Nothing so fickle as popularity. Have they even been looking? Or, well, I guess this has got to be before that end scene where she's talking to, like, all those people like the white and red. Because there she brings up Rudeus. Hmm? Oh. She's a girl, it's fine. I was about to say something. That he turned his back to the audience, but I think it's a theater in the round, so. Which, that's even harder. Mm. Haku. I mean, yeah, things have been dicey with the royals since, like, since we started. Shocker. People want power, coups and sue. Bars. Darius, that's his name. Darius, aka Humpty Dumpty. Whoa. Something tells me this isn't the last time Sophie's gonna get pinned on a bed. Wait, hold, was that fucking- did you see that? Was that fucking film imperfection? There. That fucking little dot there. This wasn't- this- How the hell was this show made? It's like you see it in like old film. It's normally just like, oh, there's a speck of dust. That's why when you see film grain is because it's normally literal grain. But putting those little imperfections in there, it's like, was this made on like old school cell? There's no way it was. This is way too- why would you do that? That's funny. I have a dream. Oh, yeah. Damn it, Derek. Some cuddles would go a long way. <laughs> Genuine smile. Now are elves in this world like the normal version of elves where they live up to thousands of years or is it just a race? I imagine they live longer. I'm just asking because it's like she's already, she already looks so, so much older. <laughs> oh my god. This is Darius. Darius's work. Whoa. Dang, she got the blicky literally on hand. Well, I th think she's dead. Unless we see the body. 
<笑>ナイライトハーク。<笑> Go to Renoa. ピッツ、あなたを守護術師の任から解きます。私はあなたの王宮への不法侵入という罪に付け込み、あなたの望みである。家族や友人を探し出すことも僕を友達だよ。友達が困っていれば力になりたい。危険な目に遭えば助ける。迷惑なわけないよ。ありがとう。ありがとう。<笑><笑> 友達を守るためにこの道を選んだ。あの日からずっと悪夢は見ていない。No more nightmares. Episode zero, Guardian Fits. Hoya. Well, that was episode zero of season two of Mishoku Tensei. So just saying now those ending title cards, unless that was just for the zero episode, like no more of like the hieroglyphic red thing at the end. It'd be interesting if we follow just Sylphie for a little bit. I honestly would like if we don't even see Rudius for like maybe a couple episodes and then we pick up with him because I, I feel like we're going to have a time skip, at least a year or two more. Like I can only assume how old Sylphie is there. She seems like way older than what I feel like she is because i mean rudy is what only 13 when we last saw him i feel like stuff is definitely going to come to a head with the whole family there like you know darius and ariel's brother but i feel like it has to because i assume maybe ariel's father or no isn't pillamon the father sylphie was there when sodros was executed i don't even know she's going abroad with the pretext of studying so like i tell you like they'll probably go to renoa does rudy even care about stuff i mean at this point it's like that whole thing of yeah i'm gonna get money so we can go to the school it doesn't even matter i mean just we gotta get our family back which we've gotten everyone except zenith and well he doesn't know obviously where sylphie is either the story seems like we had such a goal and now it's like everything's different i asked like a couple episodes ago it's just like oh when everyone got teleported it was like lily and aisha were like underwater fucking sylphie got teleported in the air because there's someone who got like teleported into a wall yeah safe to assume that there's probably people who got teleported and just died but yeah man now we start season two. We're officially halfway through everything that's come out for Michelle Gutenze so far. Again, I know that the show is probably far from done because I don't even think the manga is done yet. Or it might be. I don't know. But hey-ho, a lot's being set up in this first episode. Let's see how much of it gets resolved by episode 25 or 4, whichever. But either way, this is my reaction to episode zero of season two of Michelle Gutenze. Join me next time for episode one, as well as everything else that'll be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.